talking about Tupac really got me thinking about just like the other kind of maybe not necessarily as public or as far reaching as Pac was obviously but like there is a just a whole anti-capitalist if not outright socialist through line in hip hop that mm-hmm. like doesn't really get talked about mm. that's a reaction to that type of decadent shit you yeah. know like I've had fucking um why can I not remember anybody's names right now? Yeah, um, I'm in the but, same, that that food took the fucking speed right yeah, out of my brain. <laughs> yeah, was, my whole brain. I was but, gonna um, say I, I definitely think more so anti capitalist than pro something. something. Dead well, Perez Dead is, Perez is what I was gonna say. Dead Perez mm-hmm. is like an exception, and like yeah. there are a few others, but um yeah, but there's a there's an there's definitely I, I would even classify it as like an anti authoritarian like punk type thing of like yeah. you're saying you would or wouldn't I would yeah I would say like I broadened the the through line out to that cuz this there's this feeling of like the system is coercive and like is rigid and it's trying to hold me in but I'm finding a way out of that mm-hmm. and I'm finding a way to live beyond that yeah. and it's like at an individualistic level um but it's there nonetheless. And I feel like the rags to riches energy, like that's really what that's about at a certain level. And you have some people where there's a darker spin on that where they're like, well, it's kill or be killed and I'm going to kill, you know? And like, that's all, that's a whole thread. But then you do have this sense of like, look, I made it out, yeah. but it's like, it kind of just stops at that. It's like, I made it out. Yeah. And now I'm good. And then it's it's there's a parallel with that uh, the comedy conversation of like mm-hmm. comedians who, you know, they're they have power and so they're and they're struggling to still come across as funny. There's a similar thing in hip hop where it's like an yeah, artist makes right, it, yeah. and now it's like, what do you have to fucking talk about? Yeah, right. You know? right. It's fucking that MF Doom shit. Uh, rhymes like dimes. Mm. Ones mostly keep cash, but brag about the broker times. Mm. Right. It's like, right. Yeah. Um, it's like, what do you really do? And I, I think about that a lot in obviously in a comedy context, but really just like because I want to explore other artistic media and just like, do I want to stop living my life at 30, yeah. 35, you know, and just like have to reach back into when I was 20 years old? Well, that's like stealing food. Stealing I just, that's, in LA. I just thought of little little baby also. Because yeah. if you've just, even in his recent growth or where he is now, he's like a super millionaire now. Yeah. And he dresses in diamonds and has designer head to toe and he has sunglasses on all the time and he's mm-hmm. got designer jeans on and everything. And it's like he used to just rap with a Rolex and a white t shirt yeah. and he would sound fucking nasty. And he's still amazing. He's a little baby. But like it is that thing of like, yeah, what are you rapping about now? Like, well, that's, you know, yeah. that's where I think it can be liberatory in all ways to think beyond yeah just yourself that's a never-ending pool of inspiration the existential and the collective yeah and that's why someone like a tupac shakur like his music still rings today because Mm -hmm. from the beginning that's now he he pivoted into more of the individual and his feelings and experiences towards the end of his career and we talked about this with malik but like the tone was like i am a part of this bigger thing you right. know, and the bigger thing is not going away. That's mm-hmm. gonna, yeah. <laughs> that's kind of timeless. You're still just, struggling. Yeah. In it. As long as humans are around, the bigger thing is going to be there. Yeah. And that's even why just going beyond hip hop. Like I love artists that explore themes around the existential or even like composers or people who make instrumental music. You get this. You can get this mm-hmm. sense of like this is this is like sure maybe it's a it's taking me through the emotions of an individual but it's it's connected to a broader world and set of experiences in in society and and it's and it's tied to our existence in in some way shape or form yeah and um i guess bringing it back full circle to like the corporatization and mcdonald's like i think that's sort of one of the depressing things about so much of like and like you said it's not new but like you know 
it's not even just popular music anymore. It's like music that is underground. It's yeah. this corporatization permeates it all, yeah. and and um, and it makes it yeah. It's like it's depressing because at the end of the day, you always end up feeling like the tech yeah. is a big part of what was that gonna, is. I was gonna yeah, say. because TikTok they've all is like they've all hopped into those fucking modes of promoting yourself right it's just one right. corporation it's, the yeah. undergrounds are promoting themselves on the same platform as i was gonna say tiktok is like completely corporatized the concept of the underground you know yeah but it, it, it makes you wonder who is genuine like who is actually doing and it's like there's artists where you kind of don't really feel like it's genuine at a certain point unless they're doing some some something novel like hiding their identity or like right doing shit anonymously or something to that effect and yeah. but like that's kind of the the place that i've kind of been in with it is like sure you make dope music but like how does any of this relate to me or how does any of this relate to the broader world like i i think i think like it's like an order of operations thing in my head subconsciously of like are we talking about <laughs> like the problem is outside like the problems are outside of just yourself and your friends and whatever like the problems yeah, there are yeah. st some structural dimensions to it but then it's like well no one just wants to sit around and quote unquote consume art that's about the structural and the systemic so it's like how how does how do you like connect those two things and then how do you create like with other people and through institutions that yeah, are right. liberatory for lack yeah. of a better word yeah you know? and i think like i feel like a good example of maybe what you're talking about is like damon albarn or somebody who i've always really fucked with him like yeah. gorillas and all all that stuff and like uh del uh funky yeah. homo sapien through them and then later kind of Dipping into Doom, like high, Danger high, Mouse and shit. Well, I discovered For Doom me, before, that's how it but went. yeah, yeah. But I mean, I was gonna say like hieroglyphics and then like getting into Deltron and all that stuff. But like Gorillas specifically, it's um, and Damon Albarn is like in the intro of Deltron Thirty Thirty, like doing this whole like Doom, like Doom and Gloom, like dystopian introduction to that album, and he's like really aesthetically part of this like anti-capitalist like wing of the music industry but he's still very much in the industry and it feels like in a like in artistic in like mainstream artistic shit the best you can really do is like aesthetically decenter yourself which is mm -hmm. where that like cartoon aesthetic comes from it's where the like yeah, yeah. playing in the shadows comes from and just project the shit on the screen instead of like Right. being the front man of this band mm -hmm. right which i have a lot of respect for like yeah. him, him and the God, way doom does cool. that yeah but it feels like that's also the best a lot of people can do within mm -hmm. this context without just like really examining what's actually going on any deeper than that because also... like donald glover kind of does the same thing with atlanta um mm. where like he'll have episodes that are not about him or not about actually most of the show is not really about him uh but then they have like episodes that are not about the main cast at all and it's like that's cool but is that all you're do it, like mm -hmm. it's like what are you really doing that with that are you are you really talking about something deeper or are you just saying like here's some here's some actors that haven't got a shot until now i think like, i think it's also like to me, you know, the artistic side is like that's your sandbox. You can talk about right. You can talk about yeah. the smallest, most intimate, selfish things that you care about that you maybe only agree with or whatever. That's your playground. That's your freedom. And then, you know, beyond that, I think it it where where it really starts to become where it really starts to matter. I think it's great if people can tie in their art to a greater idea, but I think also like it buttresses the freedom you have in your sandbox. If outside of that sandbox, you are building something or you are doing something. Right. It doesn't have to be 
doesn't have to be the show has to be about that you know the, yeah. or the thing has to be about right that, but yeah. but it can really add a deeper layer i think like like if damon alburn was building some shit yeah you know like that would be crazy which in know? a lot of ways he has you know mm-hmm. he's like well i think he's he's hitting on specifically like counter institutions yeah like, well i'm yeah. saying yeah. like he's he's done it in the like in kind of a similar way that like for lack of a better example like joe rogan has done it where like people are on his projects and they yeah get something that's been like the that. limit that's yeah, been the but, imagination limit so yeah. far is like it's like they get you boost these other people into right. a platform within the same logic and the same yeah. dynamic which is cool but it yeah. also yeah it's not the art there's is, more shit you can do the art is yeah. is commodified it's it's yeah. it's like commodity you know fetishism uh in its own distinct way it's divorced yeah. from production distribution it's you know everything is centered around a personality for the most part mm-hmm. yeah. around a celebrity and what you know what their inspirations were and what their experiences were but everything else is is almost divorced it's mm-hmm. like s- separated and that's that ties to a point i was going to make earlier which is like i don't i don't even i think it's a mindset thing and i don't i think most people yeah they're not thinking about oh i'm doing this thing with mcdonald's but they're also not even thinking about how they're getting their shit to people and like the amount of control they do and don't really have structurally in terms of like how stuff is getting to people and then yeah that that just it ties right back to this this existential point that i was making it's like i can listen to an artist say a really great thing or say Mm -hmm. a really smart thing uh, or something that even touches me, but then at the end of the day, I'm like, yeah. "Oh, well, this was a an uh, uh, Apple Music Beats radio exclusive." <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like yeah. I, I feel I, like Kanye is publicly fumbling, like almost like trying mm, to get a peg in the right, right. shape hole. Like, yeah. and everyone's right. just like, "Is he gonna do it?" Like, right. everyone's just watching <laughs> him fuck around. Right. right, right. Like having this like meandering just but he's manic. almost there yeah, he's it's like, like he's almost yeah there. he's like yeah. wait so i'm on spotify but if i made my own pl-, and it's like <laughs> right he's taking forever <laughs> because he's just like he's cutting through bush of yes men like with a right. machete he's trying right. to get to it right but at the end of the day he's also so he can't get past himself like he's yeah. so trapped uh, I, right i can't and, imagine being like uh <laughs> Like being a le- in leftist spaces and hearing him go, we got this new thing called cap uh, classism. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like he, yeah, exactly. His, Everything he's gonna come up with it. He's already right. talked about capitalism. That's what pu- I'm saying publicly a, uh, on Drink Champs. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like imagine him talking about it like it's a new thing. Yeah, like, but I'm, I but you're, 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 on, you're hitting on like, something. I call like, it climate coolness, being cool with each other and being cool with the climate. And it's you're, like you're, that's you're, so you're hitting on something though, like him. Yeah, there's an, there's this instinct in him, uh, but he, he's caught up in himself, as you put he's it. He's taking like, a really long route. I like feel but it's like it's, e- it's like ego, it's ego narcissism stuff. Yeah. Well, you it's know? sloppy. It's like he's driving a bumper car around the political spectrum. Like he's just, it's like. Am I right wing? Okay, no, that's not what the... And it's like, yeah. he has no one there to kind of help him with that. Right. Real quick, and I'll we get back to this, but another person I'm thinking of, I don't know if you guys have seen clips of like Ethan Hawke talking recently, mm-hmm. but yeah, like yeah. he is... About acting and like... Acting yeah, and young people yeah. and the importance yeah. of art and the purity of, of expression and things like that. And I was talking to my friends of like, you know... It's dope he's talking like that, but he's so old, he's so late in the game, he's so entrenched in what he does, production mode wise, yeah. that it's like there's nothing really for him to be a part of. There's yeah. nothing really for him to do. Right. Yeah. It's sad because yeah. it's like he's too late or or too early. Like yeah. he's just it's just like Well, so everyone's like, waiting too. That's the other thing. It's like, well, yeah. Th- yeah. is it okay, on one side of the coin, it's like well, this is just how it goes and this is how it's always going to be. And then the people that hate it just enough are kind of just sitting around twiddling their thumbs yeah. like the alternative is just going to fall from the sky, um, but not even working out the particulars of like what that alternative 
would or should be you know it's like oh it's i'm all, i'm right now i'm thinking about Chappelle when he he was talking about like well comedy central fucked me over and then netflix came and netflix is a good company because they gave me all this money to do whatever and it's mm-hmm, like yeah. until there's like i feel like a cultural movement around like specific stuff around like decision making and right. governance and like ownership models for lack of a better word yeah like we're just gonna be spinning in circles on anything technology yeah. you know talking about music making filmmaking whatever you're just gonna you're just gonna be spinning in circles getting wrapped up in vc bullshit people that ultimately are not doing what they're doing for a social cause for lack of a better word it's about profit margins it's about whatever you can you can come with money and say oh we're gonna do a great thing for culture and we're gonna put power in the hands of the artists again mm. and when you look in the fine print and you look in the structure you're like oh it's just a it's just another like scheme mm-hmm. oh people don't even cooperatively control yeah. Yeah. this yeah. platform at all yeah. you know it's just it's just it's rhetoric so I feel like until there's like a deep enough movement to where we can even just spot that shit, like go mm-hmm. beyond rhetoric or I feel like title was like the big thing that blew, yeah. Yeah. blew that yeah. thing open where it's like, you know, Jay-Z was like, we got all these artists and we got this platform. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, um, Wait, and what does he sound like? <laughs> <laughs> we got all these artists, and we got this platform. And then, and then it's like, some people are like, oh, this is it. This is what we've been waiting for. Right. And right. then at the end of the day, it's just fucking, it's a it's traditional biz- business. Right. It's a traditional yeah. exploitative capitalist enterprise that they're just doing exclusivity deals with. And this is probably a good mm-hmm. probably a good segue into Resonate, but I don't know. <laughs> well, and real quick, like I was just thinking the, the core of this is speed also, it seems like. People don't, people want something that's fast. Yeah. Like that's what I'm seeing in all this is like people know that, going the vc route you will get money tomorrow and you'll mm. have something and going it's like it's not now worth, and it's like it's, it's not worth trying unless i can get that million plus dollar check but you right at the top right yeah at the beginning. yeah let me just get rich and then we'll change the world it's, right and that's so right. funny to me because it's same shit i was talking about in the last episode or maybe the one before that where rappers know probably more than anybody in any other genre that mm. the deals we get are fucked like don't don't take the advance, take that percentage later down the line. You gotta own your masters, all this shit. But they still across the board are just like, you gotta make it work for you. You gotta make the same system work for you. You gotta figure out right. how to game mm. the shit that's in front of you. And I part of me I wanna say it's because a lot of these people come from like poverty and like poor backgrounds. Yeah, most of them like, are gonna Well shit. I've seen some shit on like how many uh industry people are they're like Actually, second like, third fourth generation money hollywood yeah oh, really? i mean especially now yeah especially I, now yeah i feel like the, the corporatization like, point yeah and like the 2010s was kind of popular as like college rap where everybody's just like in a dorm room you know mm-hmm. like you might not be rich but you got some resources um but like i feel i, I would just wonder how long hip-hop as an industry can ride off that excuse 